This is Readability for Android. It's a great application that allows you to save articles and links that you want to read at any time. Uh, there's an extension for your desktop computer. You can install it on a tablet, on a phone, and you can basically read any article at any time in a mobile-friendly format. It takes away all the distractions. It's pretty much distraction-free reading. And it works kind of like this. So let's say I'm on the web, I'm reading a funny article, but I don't have time to see the whole thing right now. What I'll do is install the readability extension. Uh, you can get it for Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Uh, you'll see a little red sitting chair in the corner somewhere, depending on your browser. I'll click on that, and then I could choose Read It Now to strip out all the content, but I'll choose Read It Later so I can see it on my phone. Now I go to my phone since I see that it's saved right there. When I go back to my phone, I can search through my article list and I'll see the article that I just saved. So I tap on it and I can basically read through. Now the great thing about this is, let's say I'm reading right here and I get interrupted or I go to another article, I start reading that one, and I look around. When I go back to the article, it saved my last position. So it picks up right where I left off and I can continue reading. As far as your list goes, you can browse through your entire list and uh, you can read it, let's say I'm going to read an article, and again, this saved my last position. Uh, when I get to the end of an article, it's going to show me the next article that's coming up in my list. If I just swipe up, it automatically switches to that article. Let's say I'm reading that article, and I'm interested in something, and I say, you know what, this is something I want to share with other people. I tap on the page, and I click this little share button at the bottom, and then it gives me the option of Twitter, Facebook, email, a link, copy the link, or to the browser. I'd like for it to tap into the Android share function. It doesn't do that, but otherwise it's an okay uh, way of letting people know about what you're reading. Okay, now on your list, there are three things you can do with an article. You can swipe, side swipe uh, once you've completed reading it. Is that side oh, okay. Oh, I wasn't putting enough pressure. Okay, uh, if I click this little star, that'll mark it as a favorite so I can if I hold down on this star, it marks it as a favorite so I can return to it at any time. If I hold down on this little cabinet, that puts it in my archives. And if I hold down on the trash can button, that's going to delete it. To access your archives, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is tap where in the left corner where it says reading list. Oops, I tapped on the wrong place. Reading list. And then I can choose favorites or archives. I'm going to go to my archives and it shows everything that I've saved. The beauty of archives is it allows you to remove something from your reading list without deleting it completely. So if you ever want to go back to it in the future, it's easy to access. Now if you want to search for something in particular, you tap in the right corner, you t tap the search icon, enter your term, and then it should return results. I'm going to go back to my reading list view because I want to show you a couple of other things that you can do. Uh, as far as the way it looks, it has a nice clean interface when you're browsing the app. But let's say you want to change things around. You just tap on the screen once, and then once again, I have my options of saving, uh, archiving, deleting. But if you click the little the font button right there, I can change the font by side swiping. I can increase the text size to be bigger and easier to read. That's going to go good, especially on a tablet. And I can switch from light mode to dark mode all right and I once I tap away suddenly I've got a format that best suits my preferences best suits time of day your vision whatever the case may be there may come a time when you want to add directly to your reading list from your mobile device to do that you just tap in the right corner tap the plus button and this opens up readability's custom made browser for Android uh, this allows you to go to a website I'm gonna go to Andronica.com and once I'm in an article, I have two options. I can tap Read It Now, which basically strips all the non-essential content. You get the text, you get the images. Uh, unfortunately, you do lose the YouTube video that's embedded in there. Uh, but if this is just something that's all text-based that you want to see, you can choose that. Or I can choose Read It Later. I'll tap that. And you can see it added to my reading list. So any device that I have that can access read it later will now uh, be available there. 
It's an amazing design. It's fast, it performs well during all the testing I've done over it over the past few days. Now when you're watching this video, it might be available right now in the Amazon uh, App Store exclusively. Should be in the Android market soon, depending on when you watch this video. But either way, uh, try to find a way to grab this app because it's really nice and uh, it's something that you're going to want to use. This is Andrew from Jornica.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look around our YouTube channel, see some more stuff we have. And hey, while you're here, might as well subscribe, right? Bum, bum, bum. Why don't you subscribe? If you don't subscribe, the Cylons are going to take over the galaxy. Yeah, bum, bum, bum. Ba, ba, da, ba. You should subscribe. Yeah.